The closest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, is 4.25 light years away. That's about 25 trillion miles or 40 trillion kilometers. If you hopped on the fastest spacecraft humanity has ever built, the Parker Solar Probe, traveling at a record-breaking 430,000 miles per hour, it would take you over 6,600 years to get there. That's longer than all of recorded human history. But here's the question. Can we ever break the ultimate speed limit of the universe and travel faster than light? To answer this, we first need to understand Einstein's theory of special relativity. According to this groundbreaking theory, nothing can exceed the speed of light in a vacuum. But why? The answer lies in the intricate relationship between speed, mass, and energy. As an object approaches the speed of light, its kinetic energy skyrockets. Thanks to Einstein's famous equation, V equals mc squared, we know energy and mass are deeply connected. This means that as an object gains speed, its effective mass increases, demanding exponentially more energy to keep accelerating. At light speed, its mass would become infinite, and the energy required would be infinite too, making such speeds physically unattainable. This makes faster than light travel impossible. But humanity has never been satisfied with the word impossible. Science fiction has long sparked our imagination with concepts that defy the limits of physics, and few are as captivating as warp drives and wormholes. Star Trek played a pivotal role in making warp drives a cultural icon, envisioning them as a way to traverse vast cosmic distances faster than the speed of light. While initially speculative, the idea gained scientific footing in 1994 when physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed a theoretical framework for a warp drive. The Alcubierre drive avoids breaking the speed of light barrier by manipulating spacetime itself. It works by compressing spacetime in front of a spacecraft and expanding it behind, creating a warp bubble. The spacecraft remains stationary within its local spacetime, avoiding the relativistic issues that make FTL travel impossible. However, the warp bubble itself would be moving faster than light relative to an outside observer. But there's a catch. Alcubierre's warp drive requires exotic matter with negative energy density, something we've never observed. While quantum phenomena like the Casimir effect suggests that negative energy densities might exist, the quantities needed for a warp drive are astronomical. Early calculations indicated that the energy required would exceed the mass energy of the observable universe. Later refinements have reduced this estimate, but it remains significantly high. Practical issues also arise with stability. A warp bubble could generate uncontrollable instabilities or radiation that might destroy the spacecraft or its surroundings. Furthermore, initiating or collapsing the bubble could produce catastrophic effects, such as high-energy shockwaves. Another possibility is wormholes, theorized tunnels through space-time that could connect two distant points almost instantly, first imagined by Ludwig Flam in 1916 and later expanded upon by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen. These exotic objects arise from the extreme curvature of space-time, predicted by general relativity. While the math supports the possibility of their existence, no one has ever observed a traversable wormhole. Most theoretical models of traversable wormholes require exotic matter with negative energy density to remain open, presenting a significant hurdle. Furthermore, wormholes raise the possibility of causality violations. In other words, time travel paradoxes. Causality violations aren't just a theoretical quirk. They pose profound challenges to our understanding of physics. According to relativity, faster than light travel of any kind, including through a traversable wormhole, could inherently allow for backward time travel. For instance, a spaceship using FTL travel might theoretically arrive at its destination before it even departed, creating a causal loop that defies logic. Imagine a scenario where such a ship drops a bomb at its destination to destroy its own point of origin, essentially erasing its departure before it even began. These paradoxes stem from the way special relativity links space and time into a single framework called space-time. The speed of light serves as the ultimate limit for transmitting information or matter, preserving the natural order of cause and effect. When this limit is exceeded, events that appear sequential in one frame of reference might appear reversed in another. This reversal can result in causal paradoxes that undermine the logical consistency of the universe. Physicists, including Stephen Hawking, have proposed safeguards like the chronology protection conjecture, which suggests the universe might have built-in mechanisms to prevent such paradoxes. For example, quantum effects or the physical impossibility of generating the required exotic matter could act as barriers to FTL travel. These ideas highlight just how interconnected causality, space-time, and the laws of physics are, underscoring the challenges of turning faster than light travel from fiction into reality. So, is faster than light travel truly impossible? For now, 
the answer is yes. But history teaches us that the word impossible is often just a starting point for innovation. Consider the technological achievements of the last century. Concepts like powered flight, space travel, and even the internet were once dismissed as fantasies. Today, they are integral parts of human civilization. Similarly, what we consider impossible today might one day be within our grasp. What do you think? Will humanity ever conquer the speed of light? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.